Okay, um, today we are going to look at the bramble stitch which is also known as the trinity stitch or some people know it as a cluster. Um, I've always called it bramble so that's how I'm going to refer to it. Now the slight difference on this, I've just done a small piece of fabric here just so we've got something to work it against. Um, the difference with this is that the pearl side, if you like, is the right side. So the first row that I'm going to work is a pearl row. Often um, this stitch is worked in sets of four, but you do tend to have um, one stitch at either end that's not really included. It's more there for sewing up afterwards. So I've got a stitch at either end and then I've got four, 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 and four there so they're in sets. Um, that's just something I hope you'll find helpful um, when you're thinking about this one. So I'm going to actually purl this next row just a very very standard purl row but obviously you will see the difference. So. we get to the, the end the um, more technical row starts. So this is a four row pattern repeat and the right side first row is just a purl row so that's what you would have at that point. The second row is where it gets more interesting. So you purl the first stitch so that's just a standard purl there. Now the next stitch you have to knit, purl and knit all into the next stitch. So that's knit but don't take it off here. Bring the yarn back between the needles, purl, don't take it off here, keep hold of it. Put the yarn back between the needles, knit Okay, so it does look slightly messy, but not too messy. So you've got your knit, purl, knit. So that's turned one stitch there into three. Okay, the next stitch you bring your yarn forward this way and you purl three together. Okay, so that's putting your stick needle all the way in. Wrap your yarn round, bring it through all three slip off all three. So you've increased in this stitch and you've decreased in that one. So you've still got four stitches, not including that first one, that one's separate. So let's do that again. You knit, bring the yarn back between the needles, work a purl, keep hold of this stitch here, back between the needles there, and knit. Okay, so that's one stitch into three. Bring the yarn back between the needles. Go through all three of the next stitches. Wrap. Cast them off. Okay, do it again. So knit into it, keep hold. Bring your yarn back between, purl, take the yarn back between the needles again, knit. Now you can slip it off your left needle. So you're starting to get a little bit of a pattern coming in and then bring the yarn back to the front to work your purl stitch. We don't want any yarn overs here. We're not doing increases in that way purl three together. So again into your next stitch knit, yarn between your needles, purl, yarn back between your needles, keep it there, knit, okay and then bring the yarn back between the needles, purl three together 
and your final stitch is a purl. Okay, so that's what you should end up with on your needles. You've got your first stitch and then you've got your three stitches in one, the purl three together, three stitches into one, purl three together. Same again, three stitches into one, purl three together, three stitches into one, purl three together and a purl one. Okay, so you can see how you're starting to get um, a raised side there. Right, row three is a standard purl row. So you just purl carefully all your way across, that's the single stitch, all three of the stitches that are together. Right one. Next three. So you haven't lost or gained any stitches over that row. You always end up with exactly the same number that you started with. So we're really simply just purl to the end. Right, row four. We start with a purl one and we're now going to purl three together. So those three stitches where we had one stitch which we made into three, they're going back to just being one stitch. Okay. Then take the yarn back between the needles because the individual stitch is going to become three. So we knit into the front bring the yarn forward, purl into the back, take the yarn back between the needles, knit into the front. So we're doing it in the opposite way to last time. Bring the yarn back to the front again, put all three of those stitches onto your needle, purl three together, you back to your individual one again. So knit into the front of it, bring the yarn back between your needles, purl, take the yarn back between the needles, knit, then bring the yarn this way, purl three together. Once more, so knit, don't slip it off, bring the yarn between the needles, purl, Take the yarn back between the needles, knit, and then purl three together. And then finally, it's knit into the front, bring the yarn back between the needles, purl, take the yarn back between the needles, knit, and then your final stitch just a knit. And if I turn this over you'll see how you're starting to get a rather nice bobbled effect here. So every other row is a purl row and then you're alternating where you work your purl three together or your knit one purl one knit one all into the next stitch. So you can see this is the front of definitely the front of the yarn this uh, of the stitch the fabric rather these, this is the bit of stocking stitch I did to start with. So on the reverse side, that would be the back of your stocking stitch and this is how you're gonna to start to look on the back of that. But it does create rather a lovely stitch on the front. Um, I know on some of our patterns, we recommend that, say this was a DK yarn and you were using, so you're using four millimeter needles and double knitting, we'd actually recommend going up to a 4.5 to work this stitch um, and that way it keeps your tension to 22 stitches, 28 rows, that type of thing. So it keeps you, your tension average um, on that one but of course always check your tension on, on any pattern to make sure that you're adhering to what needs to be there so that the item fits. But hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next one.